Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. Let's take a look and see what's coming in for you. Any messages or advice, what you need to know, who or what is showing up around you. As always, take what's resonating and leave out the rest. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually goldy on all platforms. If you are interested in a personal reading done by me, I'll leave all of that info in the description box below. All right, Libra. The first thing that I'm picking up is like a new financial beginning. We got the Eight of Swords, Justice, Chariot, Magician, Page of Swords. Okay. So it feels like you're there's a new financial beginning, whether it's like a new job, a new source of income, a gift. Um, but it feels like it's something you need to make a decision on. Okay. With this chariot reverse, I kind of see this like you've kind of stopped. <laughs> you've you've stopped and you're like wait a minute what what way which way should I go what direction do I should I go in um you've kind of you've gotten yourself out of a, an anxious an anxious season or you you've stopped kind of limiting yourself or or sabotaging yourself and you've kind of decided to move forward but now you're at this stop you're like wait oh I wasn't prepared for this what direction do I go in <laughs> what? Oh, why the chariot some of you I you okay yeah ace of wands so I feel like you want to start something new or go down like a new path that is more in inspiring for you Something fun. You want to do something fun. You want to be with someone fun or have someone who is fun as a companion. But you don't know which direction to go in. Um, I do feel like you've kind of lost some sort of will power to move in a, a, in a certain direction. I kind of want to see what that is. You're just like, I can't keep trying to move this forward why what is this what have you lost the wheel okay so I'm seeing communication there's someone who you've been like trying to have some sort of communication with and it just feels like things are in the are are at this like limbo space and and you're deciding no longer to move in that direction with someone who's just not in communication or willing to communicate with you, right? But you are being guided to follow your dreams. If you ignore this, if you ignore it, you're going to get signs after signs after signs. Like everything is going to keep pulling you back to following your dreams, Libra, because you're destined for more. You're destined to... Use your powers, your man, your power of manifestation towards your dreams. Okay, some of you are very like connected to nature in some way. You're very connected to nature, and something about green is also very healing. So being surrounded by nature, nature walks, hikes, um, I'm picking up you're somebody who is very like in tune with the spiritual realm. And I feel like you're kind of ignoring something right now. You've ignored something or you've seen some sort of synchronicity. You've seen something here, but you're like, I don't think it's for me. <laughs> like... Like, looking back, like, you waving at someone else? No, they're waving at you. <laughs> Listen, 
if you ignore it, it's gonna it's gonna keep coming back around. Like you're gonna keep getting the signs to follow to follow a path that um to follow this path. And it feels like an individual path. Different, special for you. But I feel like you're doubting something. Hmm, kind of wands. You're making something harder than what it needs to be. It's like you're going uphill battle. Spirit is like, would you just do this? Would you just listen? Would you just take the signs? <laughs> Follow your dreams? Um, and you're making it harder than what it needs to be. What are you making harder than what it needs to be? So maybe I feel it, it does feel like you're kind of moving slower right now. Hangman, maybe not even moving at all. What is it that you need to let go of? What is it that you, need, you can give to others, let go of, make your life easier? What is this that you need to let go of? World and strength. For some reason I'm picking up something about pride. Um, there's an old chapter. I feel like you're, you're reaching a conclusion. There's a, you're holding on to like an old life, an old chapter, but you're ready for this new chapter in your life. Close something out. Close up a cycle. But a part of you is still very much like trying to very trying really hard to hold on to it. It's only making things harder for you. Alright. Alright. So yeah, you're being led to make a choice maybe between two two things, two paths, two offers. Okay, tell me about this Two of Pentacles. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Like, sh should I go down a more spiritual path or should I go down a more material path? Or can I do both? Hmm. Tell me about this Eight of Wands reverse. Okay. It feels like sabotage. It feels like you're in some way by procrastinating on a decision, procrastinating on a choice, you're sabotaging yourself by not taking action towards it. It's like less talk, more action. Less talk, more doing. You may end up getting some really valuable advice here with this Queen of Swords. Someone who kind of knows what they're talking about. They're being truthful. They're being honest with you. Um, they're setting something straight. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Okay. Feels like you're getting some communication um, to kind of leave something behind someone's kind of like yeah Libra maybe you should kind of leave this behind maybe you should go in this direct in a different direction maybe you should maybe you should make that move maybe you should do that thing and and not stay here what is this justice reversed yeah Someone is like blaming you for something. Someone feels like you did them wrong or there was something, something was unfair. There was an unfair decision or you chose to, um, like some people just are going to kind of look at you like, 
things are unfair based off the choices that you're making. But that's just their own. That is their own projections here on you. There is something about you that makes you who you are. And you're really being called to embrace your individuality. What makes you different? What makes you different is what makes you special. It's embracing it is ultimately what is manifesting your your this like dream reality into existence. There is a new beginning that's manifesting itself here. Something very magical feels magical, unexpected. What is it? But like good. It feels like a good surprise. Tell me about this magician. Ooh. Oh. A reward. You are being rewarded. You're, there's like unexpected, um, unexpected rewards coming your way based off. And this is something that you've been putting the work in or you've been kind of waiting on. You're getting synchronicities about it to continue to put quality time and energy and investment into something that is in alignment with your individuality, your dreams. And the more you get off track, the more you're going to be brought back to it. You're going to keep getting these signs. It's like there's something about you, Libra, that you ignore or you push back because it's different or it's not the norm. But you're going to be you're going to keep being brought back to this until you use it. Anyways, if you have someone in mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see how they feel about you, about this situation with you. Let's see. Let them do the talking. The person on your mind, how they feel about. Okay. We have a Hierophant reversed. The star reversed. Two of Pentacles. The sun. Emperor. You could be dealing with somebody who's in a very... Um, serious position in their life they may have businesses they may have there may be a very busy person a lot of authority a lot of power but they are feeling as if there is a lack of commitment there's a lack of commitment why are they feeling a lack of commitment Four of Wands. Okay, so, okay. Someone feels like they're not seeing you off as much as they'd like to, or like you're not showing up. Someone's not showing up in some way here. They're losing faith. They've they're they they're losing some sort of faith here or hope that th that things will change. I see this person wanting to commit to you. But they see you as being really happy with like where things are at or where you're at in your life right now. They're desperately trying to make something work here. Tell me about this two of pentacles. Yo, knight of cups. Okay. Okay, love offer. Romantic offer. Some This person expressing to you their feelings, they want to give this a chance. They want a commitment with you, Libra. Um, <laughs> they see you as someone who is like a light. You bright you every room you walk in, it's just a brighter room. You light up a room. You're genuine. You're someone who gives off positive energy. They feel positive energy from you. Um, but there's, they just feel like there, there may even just be differences in like belief systems, morals, uh, 
it, but our values. But they're trying to they're trying to create some change here or take a new approach to make you happy. Why wow, the star? Feels like they genuinely want to like renew something or heal something here with you in a better direction or bring back hope to things, bring a peaceful outcome. Yeah, nine of swords reversed. Bring clarity. Somebody wants to, this person wants to bring clarity here because there's been some sort of stress that, I mean, at least they've been stressing. They've been stressing over this, I think maybe more than you have. But they want to make a commitment and they're hoping you want a commitment. Do you? I don't know, Libra. <laughs> you look happy with where you're at. Maybe you really like this person and you're like, heck yeah, I do. Tell me about these synchronicities. Things are going to be synchronizing when you follow your dreams, when you follow the path that you're meant to be on, when you stop self-sabotaging yourself and you choose the right path. Okay. Financial discipline and manifestation. So based off of your, your discipline, especially if it is financial, things will end up manifesting itself. I think sometimes we just need more discipline <laughs> to make things flow. Is there anything else that Libra needs to know right now? I'm hearing avoiding. Stop avoiding. <laughs> Stop avoiding. What or what are you avoiding? Change. Are you avoiding change? You're like, oh, I know. Love. <laughs> okay, so your love life is about to change, Libra, but it feels like you're trying, you're avoiding it. You're avoiding necessary change <laughs> for love. Maybe you're avoiding love, opening your heart, um, avoiding a necessary change. You know, it's like, oh, if I go down this path or if I do this, like my life is going to be so different. It's going to change completely. And I don't know if I'm ready for change. I don't know if I want anything to change right now, but, the, but you're going to keep being brought back to it. It's like, there's no avoiding this change. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. But it's a welcome change. So just know it's a welcome change. An unexpected but welcome change. Yeah, some of you are making it harder than what it needs to be. I'm seeing the numbers 74, 19, 85, 87, 11. Those numbers could be synchronicities. Special days. I'm seeing the letters N, P, I, L, D, M, T. Those and why those letters could be in your name or someone else's. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. And I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.